Hello, my name is Nessie. Romney can't be here, but he's visiting his Uncle Clem down in Alabama. So they left me to start the video. So, oh, today's recipe is going to be candy roaster rings done up in the air fryer. And they're coated with crushed plantain chips and full spices. Aye, they're mad delicious. Y'all stick around, I'll show you how. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you guys, please don't forget to mash that subscribe button, give me a big old thumbs up, maybe even leave me a comment or two, I sure would appreciate it. This year recipe, you're going to need the remainder of the candy roaster squash that we started in on last week. You're going to need a couple of eggs, some pumpkin pie or apple pie spice, some ground ginger, some flour of your choosing, and some plantain chips, not flavored, just salted. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Eating Good in the Woods, a channel that shows you just because you're camping doesn't mean you got to eat like a hobo. Speaking of camping, it's getting a little cold for camping season. I mean, I'll go in the winter, but most people don't. So we're going to do a nice inside dish today, and like Nessie alluded to, it is the first time I've ever done a dessert, and let me tell you something, it's fantastic. On the heels of last week's candy roaster recipe, we're going to use the rest of that candy roaster and we're going to cut it into little one inch rings. We're going to flour it, then we're going to egg it, and then we're going to put it in a mixture of ground up plantain chips and some apple pie, pumpkin pie, all that kind of pie spices in it with a little bit of sugar or stevia or whatever you care to use. And then we're going to put it in the air fryer for about 20 minutes and it's going to be fantastic. All right, we're going to start by grinding down those plantain chips. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, these things are tough as nails. So hold on to your food processor. It's going to rattle it all over the place. When they get to the consistency of cornflakes, we're going to add our spices. We're going to have a heaping tablespoon of ginger. And same again with apple pie or pumpkin pie spice grind it some more. Okay, let me stop right there. I just want to add that everybody's level of spice, sweet, and saltiness is going to be different. In my case, I did add a heaping tablespoon of ginger powder and apple pie spice. I also put in a teaspoon of salt and two packets of stevia. However, if you would rather sugar, I would suggest starting at about an eighth of a cup and taste it until it reaches the right level of saltiness, spiciness, and sweetness. Okay, carry on. Now we'll keep processing until it gets to almost a fine powder. Make sure you keep tasting it. Once you get it to where you want it, we'll cut the squash into one inch rings. I have a small confession to make. I cut those rings way too thick. I would cut them at half an inch, not one inch. Carry on. Well, okay. We're going to cut them into half inch pieces. Make sure you clean out the middles real well. You need to make sure you get rid of the seeds and all that stringy bit. And then of course they're going to need to be peeled. But hey listen, hang on to them seeds because you can roast them like pumpkin seeds and they're delicious. And here's what we wind up with. Now we're going to need three bowls and two eggs. Beat them eggs like they stole from you. Say that reminds me, if y'all are looking for a way to support this channel, keep this here trainer rolling full of farm fresh content twice a week. Why don't you slide over to my Teespring shop, get yourself a coffee mug or maybe even a t-shirt. But if you don't want to do that, how about you go to buymeacoffee.com and for the price of a cup of coffee, you help keep this train a rolling. You can also visit boondockerswelcome.com. All of the links are in the description. Thanks a bunch. Once you're done beating the eggs, in the bowl on the right, you're going to put your chip and spice mixture 
In the bowl on the left, you're going to put some sort of flour. I use arrowroot because it's good for my diabetes. And then about another teaspoon of salt. And make sure you mix that in well. Now it's the simple part. You just want to make sure you flour the rings, egg the rings, and then coat the rings. And then right into the air fryer basket they go. When you got a basket full, spray the top of them with some sort of spray oil. And then into the air fryer at 390 degrees for 10 minutes. Then we'll pull them out, flip them, spray them again with more spray oil, and they'll go right back into the air fryer at 390 for another 10 minutes. Oh, look at that. Have a look at that, Nessie. Hey, that looks bra. Wait, you said there'd be apples and whipped cream? Now, who am I to disappoint, Nessie? That's right. Mrs. Eatin' Good in the Woods had some leftover bacon grease, so she was kind enough to fry up a couple of apples sliced in that bacon grease along with some of them fall spices. No need to add any more sugar. It was plenty sweet on its own. And frankly, it was delicious. And don't forget the whipped cream. Aye, that's better. All right, y'all. It is done. D-U-N, done. Let's have a look at that beauty. Woo, I want you to look. Doesn't that look delicious? My goodness gracious, I guess the only thing we got left to do is taste it. Get a little bit of everything on that fork. Whoo, and there it is. Hey. I'm sorry, what was that, Nessie? Don't I get a taste of it? Of course you're going to get a taste of it. Here you go. Nom, 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 nom. Mm-hmm. Now, what do you think about that? Absolutely delicious. Whoo, that's what I thought. Now I'm going to have me a little taste. And there it is, a little bit of everything on that fork. Mmm, 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 mmm. Here you come again looking better than anybody got the right to. That right there is delicious. That's hardly fit to eat, but I tell you what, I'm going to keep going until I find a good spot, and I suggest you do the same. Absolutely fantastic. It's like little tiny bits of pumpkin pie. Why, oh, good golly, that is delicious. It's crunchy, it's crispy. Oh, anything you want in a nice fall time dessert. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be about it for this episode of Eating Good in the Woods. Y'all go on out there and be nice to one another. I sure love you. God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye.